Hey guys, Tux here, professional Fortnite player. Welcome back to another review. Today we are going to be looking at the 360Hz gaming monitor. It houses a G-Sync module and an IPS display, and I'm going to try and help you decide whether it's worth your money in this video. So let's jump straight into it. So these are the tech specs for the monitor. As you can see, it's a 25 inch monitor and has an NVIDIA G-Sync and latency module built in. I'll go more into detail on these later in the video. It's a fast IPS display, which means that you're going to get better colors than your usual TN panel. And it's a full HD display. So in a lot of games, you're actually going to be reaching that 360 FPS mark. But it does depend on which game and your PC specs. You also are going to be able to get one millisecond gray to gray response time on this monitor, which is usually quite hard to achieve on an IPS, which is why they call it fast IPS, I guess. And it also has two HDMI ports and one display port. The display port is what you're going to be using for that 360 hertz gaming. So out of the box, the monitor does feel very premium and actually quite heavy. I would say a lot of the weight does come from the stand as it houses an RGB unit and is quite wide and beefy. It also has an RGB logo in the top left at the back. You'll see in the B-roll footage that I actually don't have the stand on my monitor. I use a monitor arm and that's just to save desk space as I've heard quite a few people do have troubles with the monitor stands themselves being quite wide and large. Coming to the front of the monitor, you'll notice it has three very thin bezels on the left, right and upper edges of the screen. As for the bottom, the bezel is slightly thicker and houses the Alienware branding and a 360Hz sticker just to let everybody know that you've spent a fuck ton of money on your monitor. The aesthetics of the monitor are extremely clean. They're a little bit more gamified than your usual BenQ monitors, but nothing too much, nothing that makes me cringe, so I can't complain. It looks sleek, premium, and definitely gives that feel in the hand. So comparing my experience with a 360Hz compared to a 240Hz, so just to put into perspective and give you an idea of what I came from, I came from a BenQ 2546K, which has DIAC and a 0.5 millisecond response time. Now, that monitor's biggest selling point to me was how clear it looked in motion, um, even with DIAC off, the 0.5 millisecond response time just made the monitor look extremely clear in motion. I would say slightly clearer than the 360 hertz. But there is a reason why I sold my 240 hertz monitor. And the main reason was even though the 360 hertz is definitely smoother, it's a, it's a, it's a decent step up. It's not huge. You're not going to be like, wow, this is so much smoother. It'll be like, oh yeah, it's a little bit smoother. It's nice. But I would say the biggest selling point for this 360 hertz monitor, which they don't seem to push that hard, is how crazy fast the monitor feels and what i mean by that is how low the latency is it's honestly insane I, to put it into perspective or to put it into words uh, an easy way to understand i felt like i went from 20 ping to zero ping in fortnite my builds would place faster i would edit faster my mouse felt more responsive i would click and the shot would go off faster it, it honestly the latency of this monitor is just next level even comparing to the latest BenQ monitor. And I think it's the combination of not only not only the latency uh, reductions they've probably done to the technical side of the monitor, but also the 360 hertz working together. So yeah, I, I can't emphasize how fast this monitor feels. Even coming from a top BenQ 240 hertz monitor, the input lag on this monitor feels so low. The latency feels so low and so fast. You just feel feel more in tune with the game you feel more responsive it, it's crazy it's such a good upgrade even the even though the smoothness of a 240 to 360 is good the hidden big benefit i see in a 360 is just that input lag it's crazy and i'm gonna throw up on screen now you know the different frame timings between 60 144 240 and 360 hertz so you guys can see that there's actually not that big of a difference between 240 and 360 at the top level it's about one and that 1.5 ms between each frame but man especially in mechanical games like fortnite and fast fps shooters you're going to really feel the lower input lag and it's going to allow you to be a faster player. So jumping into the slightly more technical side of the monitor, it has three response time modes. So the first is fast, which is a four millisecond response time, then super fast, which is two and extreme, which is a one millisecond advertised response time. Personally, I use the extreme mode. This is because when you're in motion, you're able to pick out details slightly more clearly on the one millisecond as compared to the four. Especially in game, I feel like the monitor feels slightly more snappy and responsive on the one millisecond extreme mode as compared to the fast four millisecond mode. So as my recommendation, I would say go with the extreme. On top of that, G-Sync in this monitor comes with a latency module. Now, this latency module is honestly a game changer for, for people like me, at least people that want to get every little bit out of out of the PC. Um, because what it allows you to do is let's say you change the setting in game. Let's say you turn your anti-aliasing on and you put it to like four times you're able to go in game and test to see if that extra anti-aliasing setting that you put on has given you any extra input delay. And it's your entire machine. So 
it's not just what shows on the monitor it's also settings out of the game so if you switch a setting or you turn something off or you turn something on and you want to see if that has affected your game in any way you're able to do that and it leaves you with no questions because there were so many times when i was playing fortnite where i jump on and i'm like the game feels worse today it just feels worse whereas now with this monitor i jump on it feels worse why i chuck it on oh i forgot to turn this off oh i you know i, I can basically tell why and it actually puts it into numbers and it's it, it also gets rid of that placebo effect where oh it feels worse today oh wait no that's just because i haven't warmed up yet or something like that you know you can really tell and it's for things out of the game it's for things in the game and it's for things like mice as well so if you have a mouse that you feel like you just perform best on or you feel really snappy with or or anything like that you can truly test to see why and it's a great feature because i'm gonna let you in on something right now guys i tested this in fortnite first and i was like hmm do Fortnite skins give you delay? I, I'm really curious to see because people have said it before and I was like, it'll be a good test. It'll be a good test for the monitor. Or does the performance mode give you extra delay? Now I'm going to save the performance mode one. Or sorry, give you less delay. I'm going to save the performance mo mode one for another video. But I'll tell you now, Fortnite skins give you extra delay. And it's crazy because there was no way to test this before. But the more skins, the more physics, the more complicated the skin gets, the more delay you get. And I'm going to probably do a video on that in the future as well. But for now, I'll just leave this leave this little thing in there right now for people that have got this far into the video. Take your skins off or play really simple skins because you don't want anything too complicated at the top level because every millisecond matters. And that's why you're probably looking at a monitor like this. As well as that, the monitor also comes with a G-Sync module built in. Now, this is quite a loaded topic because G-Sync um, in this monitor also comes with a latency module. So first, we'll jump into what G-Sync does. So G-Sync basically aligns your frame rate of your machine, to the output of frame rate that your machine's putting out, to your monitor's refresh rate. So if you in-game drop to 150 FPS because your PC can't put out the 360, it will drop the monitor's refresh rate to 150 as well and constantly match that as you're playing. So what that means is that the image will look, will look more smooth even at lower frame rates and you'll get less screen tearing on screen. Now, this is great, especially for single player games or games that you tend to drop frame rate quite easily in. Um, now, I haven't been able to test it out in Fortnite because I've been off for an injury, but I believe it's going to be quite good for games like that where you're in end game and then your monitor drops to frame rate. You're still going to be able to get a, a more smooth image than your opponent. So oh, that is my review of the 360 Hertz Alienware gaming monitor. I hope I got my experience with the product across to you guys well. It's definitely a monitor that's going to stay on my desk for a long, long time to come. Like I said before, it's a great all-round package. I could recommend it to anyone who's got the money, um, but especially to those who are trying to go pro in games because it's just a good step up over those 240s. And um, yeah, guys, honestly, I, I, I appreciate all the support recently. It's great to get back on the grind. You know, I've been out for a while with my finger, just trying to just rest it and take it easy. But, you know, this has given me a, a good excuse to get busy again. And, and I'm, I'm really having fun putting these videos out for you guys. So if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike, dislike. And if you love the video, hit the sub button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, any more questions that you have about the monitor, ask them down below. I'm happy to answer them or anything about any other products. You know, I'm always happy to help you guys out. So yeah, anyway, have a good rest of your day, guys.